Good evening and welcome to Next Gen Season 17. We are here at Sugo for the Paramax Racing Modern Touring Car Championship. Should be an absolute belter. The C3 McGann is exactly the same colours, which is always helpful to know. Uh, we have a full lobby of 16 drivers tonight. Fantastic, they're all in the McGann Touring Cars. So none of them have any advantage. This tonight is purely down to the driver. Tonight we have Peter Dark, 77, Weed Ass, 34, Big Bloody B, Epic Legend, AMH Racing, Bruce Lee Harding, Speed Gone Hogo, Shadow Stalker, The Les, Webby's Johnny, Hago Mayego, Cam, 123 Diz, D White House 7, Four Fish, Tim, there he is, you can see a close-up of his face there. Uh, and our host, Jack, Team 53 Synopsis. Just wait for my tables to load up so we can have a look. At the championship. So the Les is currently leading this championship on 39 points with AMH Racing on 35. Jack is on 33 with Four Fish on 25. Johnny has 24 with Dean Whitehouse on 21 and Bruce Lee Harding on 20. Cam has 16 with Epic Legend on 15. Tim currently sits on 13 points. Hago Mayego is on 12 with Wee Daz on 8. Tyler House has 7, he's not here tonight. Peter R. Jamesy is on 5 with Speedy Gone Hogo also on 5. Shadow Stalker has 4 with Big Bloody B on 3 and Scott Menu 183 again not here tonight has 0 points on the board Sugo 2.302 miles in Japan that's 3.7 kilometers it's been around since 1975 and since then it has gone through various changes adding in the intricate little uh, first sector as you can see there with the chicane nearing it, that was created in 1987. Back when it was first opened, it was a 1.6 mile, 2.6 kilometer approximation circuit. And now it's home to a fantastic, fantastic racetrack in Japan. It is Japan's largest motorsport venue, having created in 1975. Um, it's a test and race facility complete with kart, motocross and trails circuit. Uh, and it was also once a much wider sporting facility with tennis with tennis courts, football pitches and uh, a hotel and swimming pool nearby. As we cross the line, AMH currently on par. Let's go on board with Bruce Lee Harding into the first corner then. Down to third, get it tucked in, run it out wide into the second corner. It's a bit of a lift just to keep it in there. Third corner should be flat, is flat. Just a little bit of corners this there, there for Bruce. Hairpin curve, down to second. It's just run a bit deep, but it's okay. S-shaped curve, the chicane is definitely flat in these cars. Up to the high point corner, one of the highest points of the circuit. I think it is the highest point of the circuit. Rainbow corner, late, late apex, you can go in early and keep it tucked in but most people go for a late apex as you can go down the back stretch towards the back stretch corner. So I'm going slow ahead of us. So through the back stretch corner, hit the brakes into the horseback corner. Again, down to second gear, up to third quite quickly just to keep the, the traction going. SP in. Bit of a break again, down to third, up into fourth quickly. SP out, just a tap of the brakes to get it tucked in. Obviously Bruce hasn't quite managed to tuck it but uh, managed to get through it anyway. 110R, which then leads you into the final corner, which starts now, because the mo motorbike circuit uses that little chicane section. All the way up to the main straight, to, to the line. What do we do on board? AMH still on pole position right now. Bruce will get one more lap. He's had a 125.6 to put Bruce in fifth place. The White House. Currently in ninth place, not ideal for him right now. Oh, 
qualifying has ended. Tim is in their pits. Uh, who's coming around that final corner? Let's find him, shall we? There he is, his Epic Legend 236, currently in 8th place. 2.2 behind AMH. So the, one, the only man in the 123s right now. Epic Legend crosses the line. Does not go any quicker. The Jack here in the pits, he has obviously not got a good final lap in. Through. Speedy Gone Hogo is coming through to set his first and final time. Up over the hill. He has gone in the pits as has four fish. Speedy Gone Hogo goes 12th quickest. The Les currently sits fourth, leading the championship. Uh, goes, oh, ends up fifth in the end because Cam goes through for fourth. Bruce now goes fifth. The layers down to sixth. Big Bloody B is in eighth, although Dy House has just managed to go into seventh place. Uh, who is coming through the final section? Here comes Stratus looking to finish off qualifying. He does go fifteenth. So you're qualifying round sports on Sugo. AMH Racing takes pole position from Jack TM53 Synopsis. He'll get the bonus point for AMH. Row 2 is Four Fish and Cam 123 Diz. Row 3 is Bruce Lee Harding and the Les. Row 4, D White House, Big Bloody B. Row 5, Peter R. Jamesy and Epic Legend. Row 6 is Weed As and Speedy on Hogo. Row 7, Johnny and Tim. And the final row, Shadow Stalker with Hago Miego. Rounding out the grid. It's a good margin that as well from AMH. Four, six tenths of a second. So he did go. He did have a really nice first sector actually. It looks like that's uh, he's gained a lot of time through sector one there, about half a second. Uh, about another tenth as well through sector two, and then matching in sector three but here we head then amh racing jack on the front row we have three red lights we are green at sugo and jack gets an absolute blinder of a start he's immediately alongside amh heading up towards the first corner and four fish in the background oh jack's gonna be deep amh into the back of him that looks a little bit suspect on lag but Jack does lead full fish manages to take second away from AMH around the, th the third corner and here comes Cam down the inside of AMH the defending champion of the Monday Night Tourers modern touring cars Cam can't quite get the move although a bit of pushing and shoving between I think that's Bruce just no it wasn't Bruce sorry it was uh, the Les and D White House having a bit of a scuffle there out of the S-shaped bend. It... Or was it James? Oh, couldn't James? Actually, sorry, it was Jamesy. No, too many, too many of the same delivery. But D White House is down to seventh, regardless. The Les has. Sorry, it was the Les. We'll get there one day. Jack still leads though by f six tenths of a second to four fish. Cam is in third, so he did get that move completed in the end. Bruce in fifth. A good start by him. He's just got to hang on to that tail at the moment. Big Bloody B having a good race in sixth right now. There's D White House. And who's that? That looks like Weedaz. Looking for a move on Peter Dar Jamesy. And there's Collision there going three wide. Both the cars off. Epic Legend going for a move down the inside against Weedaz and, and PZR Jamesy. Quite awkward to tell if so if uh, Weedaz turn in there, but they end up going three wide into the corner, and that's Speedy Gone Hogo is going slow. Yeah, 
Where is Reed as? He's now behind Hagami Ego. Hagami, Hagami Ego, I think, I think you pronounce it as, but uh, he's looking for the move. Into the horseback corner, not quite going to work. Dean Whitehouse already has a penalty, which is impressive. Oh, and Weed has. That wasn't ideal. He kind of half cut the corner there. Someone, off, someone else off in the background. Yes, Weed has letting, the, letting uh, Hagami Ego back through. That move definitely wasn't on, I'm afraid. But he slipped in behind and he's going to look for that slipstream up to the first corner. Big Bloody B now behind Dean Whitehouse 7. Well, being we does, that's have probably got forced to, to get that place back as he goes around the outside. Got the first turn in, and he'll probably have to give that one back as he went over the white lines. So there's a little group here for the 11th, 12th, 13th, and 14th spots, and 15th with PZR Jamesy. Shut the in the background. I don't know if he ended up getting caught, caught off at all on anything of the likes. AMH back past Cam. And that looked like D. Whitehouse coming under pressure here from Big Bloody B. Both of them have penalties, as do the Liars. Bruce Lee Hine just losing the tail here of Cam and AMH. But there's your leading leading duo of Jack and Fourfish. Fourfish gradually taking the time out of Jack here. So he knows there's Hagami Ego. He's got Speedy Gone Hogo behind him. Reedas now has a penalty. He's in our Jamesy ahead of Tim. And big bloody B side by side with the Les. The Les takes the place away into the high point curve. Good stuff there. Cam 123 did still behind AMH as they head into the horseback corner. You couldn't really... I don't think you can really predict what's going to happen here because these cars are great fun to drive. Full fish. Only six tenths away from Jack. Can he get that slipstream on the main straight to maybe challenge through the first sector? Here we go. Not very strong, the slip dream here at Sugo. It's uh, it's surprising. Very long main straight, but uh, not even a tenth taken out of Jack for Fourfish, who either Jack is running very nicely out of the final corner, or he is uh, just not enough slip stream there. It's Cam Bruce running on his own a little bit, but I think he'll be happy with this at the moment. Fifth place, solid points, just wait. We've only really got we're on lap 5 of 14, so still a lot of the race to go. The Les is starting to catch up, though, to D. Whitehouse. Big bloody B in the gravel on the outside of the S-shaped curve. Oh, no, no, Jack's disconnected. Oh, God, no. Hopefully we can get him in the party chat. Um, But that means four fish inherits the lead. Just as you're about to look at Johnny, there's Epic Legend. Epic Legend's gone round. That's a great save. Hitting the curb, 
but going on the grass even on the outside of 110 and the final corner just keep it keep the car planted it will come back around in the background though he does looks like he's having to make a move on speedy gone uh speedy gone hogo Hagami Ego has dropped down to 13th. He's got Tim on his tail now. If these two aren't careful, they're going to have Shadowstalker with them soon. Meanwhile, the battle now for second place between AMH and Cam. Surprisingly, Jack's gone to restart his PlayStation or his router at the moment. So it's the second week in a row, he's had a disconnection. He's connected from the Cleos. Now he's disconnected from here, which means his drop score is taken and doesn't really have any more chances for the rest of the season, and it's not even his fault. Which is a big shame, because he was uh, right up there in the championship. We'll continue on then. I'm just waiting for my timings to come back correctly. There's Hagami Ego with Tim behind. Just seeing if we've got any. Yes, we do have a bit of a battle. We does. Just ahead of Peter and R. Jamesy here for 10th place. Epic Legend ha does have a penalty. They can get within one second. That means they're guaranteed getting ahead of him prior to any um, inquiries. Obviously, the drivers, if they get a penalty, and we does. Always letting Peter and R. Jamesy through there as if uh, he had a bit of a slowdown to take. But um, very interesting stuff. The Les is under pressure from Big Buddy B. Number 19 machine. Final corner for the seventh time of 14. We're at the halfway point of the race. I don't know if Jack's there. He might be. I am, indeed. Oh, you sound very defeated, mate. <laughs> I don't, have you managed to get back into the lobby to watch it, or are you watching from the I stream? I can't. I haven't got. I um, um, can't seem to open it. Should be able to watch it through the stream. Dream, yeah. Either way, Peter Dar Jamesy having a good battle here with Weedaz for tenth place, and Epic Legend just losing the back end coming out of the S-shaped curve. So this is going to develop into a battle for ninth, and Epic Legend and Weedaz both have penalties. And Speedy on Hogo, not too far behind. I don't know how far behind the stream is, Jack, so I, I don't know. Seems up to date to me. Looks fine. We've got, I think, is that Epic Legend in the going defensive into turn eight? Yeah, into the horseback corner. Jamesy looking around the outside. You managed to stay there for SP in. This could be a belting move. Not quite. Three one ten on the final corner. I've noticed the slipstream not quite as strong as we think round two goes today. No, it's it's certainly not. Just looking at the time gaps in the corner. Cam's keeping it AMH honest. Yes, yeah. I mean, Cam did get ahead of AMH at one point. Obviously, mm. AMH just managed to get back through, but. Fourfish doing a, a good job here of, of keeping that gap above one second, which is fairly crucial normally in the touring cars. Yeah, it will be, and he's, he's driving well. He's certainly driving well at the moment. 
I'm all speedy on how there, but for the minute we're going to swap back to Cam. Because we're not too far away from AMH, and you can see the gap in front of AMH, it is closing to Fourfish. Mm. Looks like a mistake from Fourfish, maybe on the horseback corner. Let's have a look at the lap times when they come across the line and see how they've got on what's Fourfish's lap. I imagine he's gone slower than before. Yeah, 25 24 It was AMH's lap, that's that's the difference. AMH has put his has put his right foot down and he's going for it with five laps to go. Yeah, he, he spotted Fourfish in the distance and has gone, I can do this. Put time to put the hammer down. Uh, Meanwhile, someone else who's been fairly impressive at the moment, Big Bloody B. Yeah, for certain. He's uh, he's keeping for Les very honest at the moment. Yeah, he had a, a difficult race last time out at Rear End, but uh, I had a, a, a chat with him after the race, and he said he'll probably do better at Sugo because he knows the track a bit more, and he's he's evidently shown that. As, what's his time penalties, Joel? Does he have any? Uh, he does have some. I don't know how much. I can have a look quick. If I have a quick glance, uh, he has seven seconds worth of penalties. <laughs> he has racked them on a bit, but uh, everyone around him also has some form of penalty. Mm. There's four so go back to to last season before Fish AMH and myself were having a huge fight for second place so <laughs> it seems like the battle lies are being drawn once again and four fish has got four laps effectively to try and fend off amh for what could be a first win yes uh, i mean four fish has come close before he's, he's got a penalty he has now got a penalty that will probably be about a second i would say could be more though but we know how he makes rolls. He, he'd rather not have to use the penalty as the excuse. I think he's got no choice either, has he, tonight? Because he's got Cam right there with him. As Cam goes over the, the curb slightly. If that time penalty is more than one second, which who knows around Sugo because you can get different variants. It's two you seconds might... for four fish. Two seconds. It's a lot of time for Sugo. I think the biggest thing here for AMH, he's got to be careful. I mean, I know it's only round three, but at this point in time, he would retake the lead of the championship away from the Les, and he'll have a nice little margin. I'm sat here grimacing at the moment. I know. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> L luckily, there is one drop score, so hopefully, fingers crossed as they go onto the main straight for the 11th time to go onto lap number 12. The gap just hovering around half a second right now is not quite coming down, but it's not really increasing either. Although AMH on the brakes has taken a fair bit of time. Again, he has loses Wolfish it. Has got another penalty? No, he's just got the one penalty of two seconds. Two seconds, OK, right. Because for some reason in the top left corner, he could see all his fastest laps at 29.4, and I just thought, has he got another time penalty? Because sometimes it adds it on. Hey, mate, he's getting closer by the second, though. Now only three tenths, as we all know. AMH, otherwise known as Andrew within the community, he'd rather do it on the track than, than use the penalties. That's always been his way. Hago I mean, Mayego and NGO Tim are very close as well on circuit. Yeah, that's been gradually coming together. Uh, we're going to keep with this for the minute because uh, AMH could make a move here on the, on, into turn one. He's going to have to sit behind, although he's just lost a bit of time through SP and SP, and SP out. 3 one 10 the final corner. Cam's in prime position here, Jordan. Yeah, he is. He's got a double slipstream. He's only two and a half temps. He could be there to challenge him going into turn one. He will be there. He's going to have to go defensive, I think. Or yeah, not. here we go. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite for Cam. I, I wonder if Cam's going to play a bit of a smart trick here as we head on to lap number 13. 
See if AMH can catch up to Fallfish. If they do, they're going to have a scrap. Fallfish will not give this up easily. And Cam may well be trying to play a crafty and getting the pair of them in one sweep. Coming from, from my perspective as AMH, as a little look, because I think my stream might be about a second and a half behind where you're currently commentating live on, Jord. Looking at it, if I was in Cam's position, I would send one up the inside. If I was in Cam's position, because he, he's he got he's got enough time to do that, but he needs to be close enough. Yeah, he, he is right there. The thing for AMH, he needs to get these two corners right. These two corners set up the main straight, and this time he's got them right. He is, without doubt, going to be challenging Fallfish into turn one this time. Fallfish's line is compromised, but Cam's got a good run as well. It's tighter. Cam, it, well, he's we're, we're going to go three chance. wide. We're going to go three wide down the main straight, aren't we? But again, the, the, the slipstream being handed to Cam. Cam's looking down the inside. We're going to head to the first corner three wide. Cam down the inside. There's a bit of a tap, but nothing important. Cam makes the move for second. But Fallfish retains the lead. Really good driving between the three of them. That was excellent. AMH, though, he's, he's going to be slightly annoyed with himself. He's lost that place. But he's still got the rest of the lap to do it. Unfortunately, I would go to anyone else, but this is just too close to call at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> right now, Cam is in prime position for winning this race. Remember, he did not take part last week at Rouen. So he has taken his drop score, so everything he scores goes to his tally. And here comes AMH looking down the inside of the horseback corner. That's a fantastic little dive bomb. He has absolutely sent that to the inside of Cam, and Cam's had absolutely no choice but to leave the door open. It's going to... They're still going at it between the pair of them. That was good defensive driving from Andrew. Now, on paper... Fourfish has done a fantastic job. In reality, he should have won this, but he's got penalties, which is a shame. So, AMH will win here at Sugo, followed by Cam. Fourfish in third. Bruce, a solid drive. Uh, lonely, to, to put it in basic perspective, but a solid fourth place for him in the end. Good result for Bruce. Really good drive. Big bloody B. He's overtaken D.Y. Hours and the Les for fifth, although now we're going to start getting the penalties in. You can see the order changing all the time. So D. Whitehouse claims fifth as he gets punted off. Webby to Johnny, sixth. The Lairs, seventh. Big Bloody B after his massive penalties in eighth. Epic Legend, again, this could shuffle around. We've got a bit of a drag race between PZR, Jamesy and Weedaz. PZR wins that one. So Epic Legend, tenth. PZR, Jamesy, eleventh. Weedaz, twelfth. Tim has got past Hagamiego, but Tim has penalties. So this is bound to change as well. There you go, Hagamiego in 13th, Tim 14th, Shadow Stalker, a little bit of a, a weird race from a bit of an off the boil one as he ends it in 15th. So AMH takes provisional win here at Suyoshi, all, all results provisional until the tables are put up. Uh, followed by Cam, 1, 2, 3, Diz, then 4, Fish. Bruce Lee Harding is in 4th with D. Whitehouse 5th, Webby's a Johnny 6th. The Les, 7th. Big Bloody B is in 8th. Speedy Gone Hogo, 9th. Uh, Epic Legend is in 10th with PZR Jamesy, 11th. We Dance, 12th. Hagami Ego is in 13th with Shadow Stalker, 14th. Tim actually had 11 seconds of penalties. That's got to be some sort of record um, as he finishes in 15th in the end. Uh, I have control of the lobby, so I will return to the lobby. Um, a fantastic race between the top three. That was uh, a joy to watch. Obviously, I'm trying not to rub it in certain people's faces because I know it's not very nice. Haha. <laughs> 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 I know. <laughs> um, next week, Jack, where are we heading next week? Is it Silverstone? I believe it is. I think it's yeah. Silverstone National, isn't it? It would be. Uh, just looking at it. Yes, Silverstone National 
for next week for the uh, Paramax Modern Touring Cars. Um, if you want, you can stay tuned because next up is my point of view of the Monday Modern Monday Night Tour is Clio's against what's with Paramax Time Racing in it. See if I can build up on my podium from last week. That will probably never happen. Um, but yeah, jo join me for that one in about 10 minutes if, if you want to. But other than that, join us next week for Silverstone. We'd like to thank Paramax for sponsoring the event. It's a fantastic thing to have. And ultimately, the guys, we'd like to thank you guys for watching tonight. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it all. Um, but until next week, goodbye.